So our next speaker is Dr. Lori Lesser. Uh, so she actually spent her childhood in Toronto before moving to the U.S. And she also went to Pennsylvania College of Optometry, Salus. So she's actually spent her career practicing in private and commercial settings and has worked in various roles. Um, in 2020, she actually joined Bailey Nelson, where she can share her experience, knowledge, and passion for optometry. And without further ado, I introduce Dr. Lesser. Thank you. Uh, so some of you may be going, who is Bailey Nelson? Um, so just quick history about the company. A little over 10 years ago, two guys named Nick and Pete decided that they wanted to solve a big problem in Australia, which was that glasses were either beautiful and extremely expensive or cheap and ugly, and there was nothing in between. So they just started to design their own glasses. They were good quality and beautiful and affordable, and uh, they actually started selling their glasses at the Bondi Beach Market. They became so popular, they were able to open an op optical, at which point they met an optometrist who said to them, hey guys, you're awesome, but you'll never be spectacular unless you add optometry to what you're doing. And this is how I know Nick and Pete, the two owners of the company, are pretty smart guys because they did something that all of us in this room really like, which is when people listen to an optometrist. Um, from that day forward, we have had eye care and eyewear as a partnership. We believe that comprehensive eye care is the most important thing we do in Bailey Nelson. We do it in four countries and over 100 stores, and we are continuing to expand rapidly. And both myself and the doctor from that story, who's the eye care director for the Southern Hemisphere, continue to practice. And so we know what it's like to practice in a belly Nelson. We are always looking for ways to constantly improve the environment for our doctors. Now, a good deal of you, I believe, are probably fourth year students and some earlier students as well. And during those four years of optometry school, I still remember myself, you eat, sleep, dream optometry. It's all you think about, it's all you do most of the time. And now you're in your fourth year, you're in your final quarter, and you can start thinking about what it's gonna be like to have a real life and to actually get to practice what you've been working towards for so long. And so it's a really good time to sort of think about what do you want in your life and what do you want out of your career? Um, so obviously all of us on this panel, everyone in that big room in Waterloo, feel the same way about optometry. It is an amazing profession where you get to help people every single day. And unlike a lot of other medical professions, we actually make a tangible difference in people's lives. If you're a primary care doctor and you hand someone a pill for high blood pressure, they're probably not gonna really feel different even though you're probably saving their life. But when you give someone a pair of glasses or you treat an eye disease, they immediately can tell the difference. And that's a really nice feeling as an optometrist. And it's a good way you know, to enjoy what you're doing. Um, but there's things you should look at when you're practicing. And these are things that have been echoed in some of the other uh, presentations in, as well. And that is you wanna have the autonomy to practice the way you want. Um, some of these big corporations, you're gonna feel like a cog in a machine. They're gonna tell you how to dress. They're gonna tell you, you know, how to practice. Um, at Bailey Nelson, we want people to enjoy what they're doing. We want them to practice the level of scope that they feel comfortable with. Financial security is a real issue, especially if you happen to be going to um, university in the United States. You usually come home with about a quarter of a million dollars in loans. And it's important to look at practices and not only look at, you know, how much money you make per patient and is it based on glasses sales or is it just on the exam fee, but is there any kind of guaranteed minimum? So if there is a hard day, you still know that at the end of the day, you'll have you know, money and that makes a big difference. And obviously a great work environment, you wanna work somewhere that's very positive and makes you want to come to work and you wanna be surrounded by people who wanna help people. And although private practice has a lot of good aspects, um, there's still a lot in private practice, like having to worry about if the roof is leaking in the practice, is your receptionist gonna show up tomorrow to work? Um, dealing with things like frames and lenses and manufacturing and different orders and all these things add up. If you wanted to be an optometrist to help people, you may not feel that these are things that really interest you. And when you work um, as a subleasing optometrist or an associate optometrist at a Belly Nelson, you get to take care of your patients and there's very little paperwork on your side. 
And when you have a good patient flow and a good uh, quality of life, you come home and you can enjoy the time with family and friends. Um, for some of you doctors who may be considering staying in the United States, a lot of those employed positions that have high salaries also have expectations that you're going to see, you know, four to six patients an hour, which is not, you know, sustainable for any long period of time and sort of sucks the joy out of optometry. And that's not what you want. You spend a lot of time getting here and you want to enjoy it. So what makes Bailey Nelson special is the fact that we focus on our people and our core values are being tight knit down to earth and constantly improving. And so if you've ever gone into a Bailey Nelson, you'll immediately feel that positive energy from people who are allowed to bring their whole true selves to work. And it becomes such a positive atmosphere that patients who often have had issues with getting anxiety about having an eye exam will tell my doctors that, you know what, I'm in such a good mood. Everyone is so nice to me. I feel much more comfortable having this eye exam now. We have a relaxed environment. We have quality products and they are at reasonable prices, which means that if you have a patient who needs a change, they're gonna be actually able to afford it. And that can make you feel good. It also means that if your glasses are affordable and you're trying to grow a practice, your patient is less likely gonna go and shop that prescription somewhere else. Because if they do shop it somewhere else, there's a possibility they may notice that there's an optometrist in the back of that practice and go, oh, look, this will be convenient next year when I come back for another eye exam. So working somewhere where the glasses are beautiful and affordable, even if you're not selling them yourself, is helpful just from a standpoint that you know that your patient's going to have great service from end to end. And even though a lot of new doctors are always a little worried about practicing somewhere where they're the only optometrist in the office, we do have a very tight-knit community of optometrists across an entire country. And um, we get together for dinners, we have monthly meetings, and most importantly, we have a never-ending group chat. So if you have a patient in your chair who has something unusual, you can immediately just you know, message us. And either myself or one of the 40 doctors on that chat will definitely chime in with some advice. It could be something like, you know, a retinal photo, or it could be something like, I had this patient and their personality was a little hard to difficult to deal with. What would you have done in this situation? So it's nice to have people that are constantly there to support you. And um, we have a lot of fun and it's just a really great team of doctors. And um, I posted some here of our Waterloo doctors, but we also have doctors from NECO, from uh, Salis, from PUCO, from ICO, and um, Grace Sim, who is in this, uh, in this slide, was in um, Waterloo today, and you may have seen her. So, you know, definitely a really nice place to work where you do have the freedom to practice the way you want to practice. And that makes us a little different from, you know, what a lot of people hear about corporate opticals. And just like um, Dr. Nagel was saying about um, earnings with optometry, it is true. There is definitely supply and demand. Um, you know, you can live in Ottawa, pay $500 a month less rent than you would for the same apartment in Toronto and make significantly more money because there's less optometrists there. Um, currently, if you wanted to live in Red Deer, uh, Red Deer, Alberta, or Ottawa, Ontario, we have a retention bonus where if you stay for five years, you get $100,000 on top of a very high uh, income potential because those are very busy stores that need full-time doctors. We have a great opportunity for someone who maybe has a dream of living somewhere like you know, Vancouver or Calgary or Toronto, but would like to spend one year doing mat leaf coverage in London, Ontario, make over $200,000 in that first year, and then have the opportunity to move where they want with a little nice, you know, nest egg to start, you know, whatever they plan to do next. So there are some great opportunities actually throughout the country, and I would be very excited to talk to you guys about it. And the thing about Bailey Nelson is if you take a sublease, um, you have fully equipped exam room, online booking, phone and internet provided, recall system, EMR system, and staff support. And the nice thing about staff support is, is that managing people sometimes can be a lot harder than being an optometrist. And we hire for 
our culture and our values. And you know you're going to have people who are going to treat your patients well and they're going to do a good job and you don't have to hire them or train them because we take care of all of that. Um, we help you uh, with your practice management. We help grow your practice. We do a significant amount of marketing specifically to come in for an eye exam. Your eyes are important. Um, here's some good self-care, get your eyes examined. Um, we're constantly trying to help doctors grow their business and give them new ideas of how they can actually grow their business themselves as well. Um, and there's really, you know, it's a very turnkey operation. There's no buy-in. It's literally, you're either paying rent and getting 100% of fees, or as an associate, there's no rent, but you make a percentage um, and the lead OD makes a percentage of the fees. Um, so there's some really good opportunities. It's a little different than some of the other opticals around there. And um, it just is a, a great place to practice, especially for new grads who, you know, just want something that's not too complicated. Our patient base is young and healthy. We don't see a lot of OHIP or AHC or MSP. So you're getting full you know, reimbursement, which is also nice. And so if you'd like to learn more about Bailey Nelson, um, here's my email address. And um, I'm excited to talk to you and work with some of you in the future. Thank you.